Hello my dear friends and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Um, today I'm doing a shell challenge for you. This is the shell challenge by Lil Simsy. It was a bit of a small shell and I had a fun idea for it so I thought I'd try it out for once. Um, usually I find shell challenges to be very difficult because I don't have that much inspiration for builds most of the time. Um, but when I saw this shell I had a sort of vision for it. Because it has these sorts of like inwards areas, two of them. And one of them just felt like it really fit to have a pool inside that inwards area. And it just, I don't know, it made sense in my brain. So I wanted to do a sort of modern build with a pool. And um, that's what I did. And it actually turned out really freaking good, if I do say so myself. I was very proud of myself. It looks very cool. Uh, the entire landscaping and gardening and whatever looks very cool. I built this in Oasis Springs because it just fit the vibe for me. It just made sense for me. And I made the roof using platforms to give really that sort of modern square look. But still like give it a few different layers of platforms to give a bit more texture to the roof. And not just one flat roof, you know. Um, the entire outside is grey and white and it has a beautiful stone wallpaper as well to give a bit more texture to the walls. And I added a lot of large black windows to it because I wanted to have a lot of light inside. Um, and the use of the different types of windows gave also a bit of texture to the outside in my opinion. because. I also always find it very difficult to make nice builds in The Sims, especially the exterior of the house, because it tends to look very flat and very not interesting very quickly. And um, with a modern build like this, that's even more difficult because it is basically a square. There aren't really any interesting roof pieces or anything. So I really try to give the outside a bit more texture and a bit more interesting bits by applying all those different windows and the different wallpaper textures and then the different layers of the roof and I really try to give it a bit more um, something interesting than just it being a square you know and I felt like it really worked out. I placed a lot of flower boxes along the edge of the house, in the front and in the back. Anywhere where I felt like there was missing something, I placed different flower boxes of different heights and I gave like this layered effect. Um, so again, the front of the house looked a bit more interesting. I filled these flower boxes with like plants that would make sense in Oasis Springs. So um, cacti and uh, succulents and those kinds of plants and I just kind of filled up those plant boxes a bit. Um, I have most of them in the front, there are a few in the back, but the back is mostly a terrace and it's mostly open to the outside world because I, this lot was on a nice little hill and I just wanted to have like this spot where you can look away into the distance and have a nice view. Um, but yeah, here we're working on that pool that I mentioned that I really wanted to put in. Um, and I put it in that inwards little corner of the house. And I think it looks really cool with the windows that you can just look into the pool like that. Um, the floor plan was a bit more difficult to figure out. I think it took me like 20 minutes. I cut all of that out because, I don't know, you don't need to see it. It's just like two walls in this entire house. Uh, but I just needed something that made sense. Because first I wanted to put um, the bedroom on the left side of the house because it made sense in my brain that if you have these lovely windows looking out into the pool that you would have those in the common area and not in the bedroom um, so I wanted to have the common area of the house like the living room to the right of the house but that would give a lot of hallway space and that would make for a very very small bedroom um, and then you had this very weird weirdly shaped room for the living room or for the kitchen and it just didn't really make sense so I just played around with it a bit um, and I think it ended up pretty logical the living room has a tiny bit of a weird shape to it but um, 
it still fits and it makes sense in my brain. The bedroom also has a tiny bit of a different shape to it, but it also makes sense. There's still quite a lot of space in the bedroom. There's also um, a desk with a computer in the bedroom and a lovely closet. And it just looks out into that beautiful pool and it, it, it just makes sense in my brain. It's kind of how I do every build. <laughs> I just try for it to make sense for my brain i don't know if it makes sense for anyone else but it makes sense for my brain so and i really try to keep this color scheme of like white black and then this denim blue that's really from the um dream home decorator pack it's just a really lovely blue and it's just very soft in my eyes it wasn't really like a pop of color that's really aggressive it's still a pop of color but it isn't as aggressive so i felt it matched really well with that black and white color scheme that we had going on. I also really like this floor. Um, I don't know what this one is, but it's just really nice. It gives a lot of texture to the place, especially with all these like very light and white and black modern appliances. It felt a bit empty and then this textured floor really makes up for that emptiness in my opinion. I did try to place a few plants, but I didn't want to make it like a plant overload again, like I always do. <laughs> so I did take like one or two out in the end. Um, there are a few plants, but not that many. So most of the plants are on the outside. Uh, and it, ju it just felt like these are people who don't like to spend time on their gardening or on their plants or anything like that. They just like to spend time in the house and just chill, maybe cook because they have a ginormous kitchen so they can spend a lot of time cooking. And um, so all the plants outside are in plant boxes, in planters, and um, they're just succulents and cacti and you don't really need to take care of them. Maybe spray them with a little water every once in a while, but that's it. And it's kind of all of the landscaping that's going on outside. So it's really for the people who don't like to spend time on their gardening. So I also felt like it makes sense to not really have loads of plants inside. Just one or two to liven the place up a bit. But, you know, they're not people who want to spend every day watering their plants. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just really happy with this build because I have never really worked on a modern build before. And... I find it, found it a bit difficult, the exterior, uh, at the, in, in the beginning. But I just kind of kept going, just added a few more things and added a few more things. And then it just made sense and it looked nice. And I kind of went from there. And in the end, I really, really like this house. I think it's really pretty. It turned out great. Um, the shell that Lil Simsy gave just made sense for this house. I managed to make every inch of it work and... I don't know, I'm just really happy with this build. It has one bedroom and one bathroom. Um, just very simple, it has a very big kitchen. Um, yeah, it has a beautiful big garden, which we'll work on in a tiny bit. But the garden has like a terrace where you can sit, a terrace where you can lounge, a terrace where you can sit around a campfire kind of vibe. You can eat. Um, so there's a lot of space for like having guests outside and hanging in the sun and just having a good time during summer for example and yeah i did cut out a lot of the landscaping in this video because everything was just the same like i added those little platformed wall box spaces and just filled them with the same plants over and over it took a little while but all of it is technically the same so i did cut out quite a bit of it because i didn't want to bore you um, I used a lot of dream home decorating in this house. I tried not to because I kind of end up using that pack in every single build that I do. Um, just because I kind of don't really have that many packs and I either have dream home decorator which is a very very modern pack or I have um, cottage living which is a very classic more classic looking interior pack. So um, like, it's either one of those that I'll use. <laughs> and I just really, really like the Dream Home Decorator pack. Like, those are some good items. So I just keep using them. And I mixed it a bit with some base game items, like the glass tables. Just felt like the glass tables and glass desk uh, that made sense for the modern build that this is. Um, 
yeah I, I struggled a bit with the curtains like finding curtains that made sense for every room um, but I think that worked out fine in the end as well um, the kitchen still feels a bit empty to me but that's also because I'm used to like cluttering everything up using different wallpapers using a lot of color and um, I, I didn't want to clutter this house up too much because it, it's more of a minimalistic modern build, you know. I, I just don't want to have to clutter that up completely. And I don't know, that makes sense in my brain as well. But it also meant that some parts of the house felt a bit empty to me when I was done. Um, which I, I tried to, you know, put myself over that. <laughs> because... Sometimes a house just gotta be a bit empty. It doesn't have to be cluttered up all the time, you know? So yeah, and this is where I'm working on those planter boxes outside that I made. I just put up like half walls um, and then raised the platforms inside to be just one lower than the half wall. Um, then I filled it with grass and then like I said, those different... Um, uh, succulents and cacti and such uh, all over the place. I did notice that you can't put a platform that is lower than the house against the foundation of the house, um, which I did give the house a foundation. So um, that was a bit of a struggle. So I kind of just lined the entire house with these little like hedge pieces. And those were just as big as the planter boxes that I used right in front of there. So. I don't know, if, if you look at it from the front, it just looks like it's part of the planter box or it isn't there. Um, and, and it looks pretty natural, but it, it just feels a bit weird to line an entire house with hedge. But that's what I ended up doing. <laughs> it's a bit stupid, but um, it works. And here's where I'm working on all those different planter boxes. I don't know how much I cut out of it. I did cut out quite a bit because I just couldn't, I, like, I spent like two hours making all those planter boxes, filling all of them, making them look natural. And then I also got to look at 10 minutes of a speed build. Nah, mm -mm. no, <laughs> it's too much. So here's me just making those planter boxes, filling them up a bit, but I cut out most of it because it's really not interesting at all. And the inside of the house is almost done. I did think, I do think I went in later to add like a few more different things like I think I forgot the nightstand and some rugs maybe like just some little details because um I just can't deal with a house that with a house that looks empty um which I just told you <laughs> but yeah the house just felt empty to me um I also struggled a lot with the stupid stairs in the backyard like those stairs were Oh, oh my god, they were messing with my brain because every time I would place another half wall somewhere on the lot, uh, like make another planter box, the stairs that were against planter boxes just disappeared. They just were gone and I had to place them again. And instead of just waiting until the end and placing them one final time, I was a dummy and I just went back in and placed them over and over and over and over and over again. I think I replaced those stairs like at least 20 times. Um, I hope I cut out a lot of it, but it, it, it just annoyed me so much. It was a struggle, but um, you know, in the end, <laughs> the stairs are there. <laughs> it looks fine. Uh, as you can see, I also put a lot of those planter boxes outside, like in the backyard of the house, just to kind of line the house a bit. So if you're chilling in the backyard, your direct neighbors won't be able to look at you. But the back of the lot is still very open. So if you're just hanging out, you can still look at the pretty view and enjoy the sunset. Maybe I really have no idea where the sun sets, so I don't know if you can even see that. But, you know, I have this little... Uh, little chilling spots like just some chairs where the pool is so you can look at that a bit and like, like look at the view and that's kind of it for like the backyard there's a lot of chilling areas you can have a lot of friends over and then I did go into the bedroom and add a few extra things so you can see that here I added like one of those big mirrors and put a window around it 
And then on the back side of the wall, I added those slates from um, City Living to cover it up. And it just made for a very cool mirror in the bedroom. And I just really wanted to do that. I saw that on the TikTok somewhere, uh, but it was very cool. And I think that rounds up the rest of the house. So we're just going into screenshots now. I want to thank you for watching. If you need to know anything about this build, it is linked down below. You can find it on the gallery uh, under EAID Bottle of Gaming. And that's going to be it for me today. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!